Alright, so we're alive again for another lesson for Science 8. Um, I'd like you to uh, stay tuned once again for the continuation of the previous lesson. Alright, but before we're going to go right away to the lesson, I just want to uh, give you a heads up of the setting of the decision of the president of extending our uh, considering pro the province of Benguet as part of the provinces that is being extended until uh, March 15 for the ECQ. However, it will be still be changed um, depending on the status on April 30. Now, just last night, um, we have already a new, ano, for, for the whole Benguet, including Baguio, we have already new cases of around 10. Uh, we have two from uh, Two from what they call this one, two from Ifogao. We have one in uh, La Trinidad, and the rest will be uh, coming from. Uh, tawag nito, galing sa sa Baguio. However, four of them are um, frontliners, no. So, uh, I think isang medical helper, isang medical clerk, the lawang nurse, at yaka isang doctor. Now. With that said, no, it may affect the decision of the national government of trying to either continue with the ECQ for Benguet or it will, uh, what they call this one, it will uh, down, be down, downgraded to what you call your GCQ or general uh, uh, community quarantine. However, the, the province of Benguet has already have, uh, decided that students are not to come back until May 31. Um, we have already seen the directives of the CCDC no? and about the decision uh, in relation to that. Now, the one that is being sent through the CCDC uh, page in FB is the better version because it explains there well. No? However, just to give you a heads up there, no? according to the first uh, directive there, which is uh, from the, for the month of May, the May 1 to 23 will be uh, what they call this one. Uh, what uh, 1 to 23 will be the lesson, no? So that would be online lesson. However, onwards for 23, that will be for teachers to make the grades already. And <clears throat> by maybe the end, uh, before ending the, the month of May, no? It will already be submitted to the teachers or uh, to the teachers, to the heads, to the coordinators. The teachers will be submitting the grades for the coordinators. Now, you'll be questioning about Paano naman yung iba na hindi nakapag-internet o umumi ng probinsya? Um, as far as I can still remember there, no, um, for those students na hindi naka-internet or na umuwi ng probinsya at nahirapan mag-internet o magpalud or walang pangload, um, you'll be given around 2 months, no, 2 month period, uh, completion period. So meron kayong dalawang buwan ng June and July para tapusin yun. Now, this will be already be a very big one, no? very big uh, month for you to complete that one because wala naman ang lesson na ibibigay doon. So, ano yung na-miss nyo, yun na lang yung tatapusin nyo in case for science. Kasi sa science, wala akong papagawang iba aside from the quipper activities that I'm sending you because I'm, I'm making my own uh, quizzes or activities for quipper. I'm not using the one being uh, yung mga preset na ng quipper company. Now, in that case, no, um, no sabihin nyo, or, mayroon ba dalawa pa lang dalawang buwan? But, no, uh, the, the time being so unpredictable of what will happen for the next two months, hindi po natin alam yung mangyayari. So, the point is that, uh, I discourage you to, to wait for the two-month completion period sana. If, uh, kaya nyong tapusin yan until, uh, tawag nito, until May 23, maubos nyo lang. In case for science lang, I'm talking about science. I'm not talking about the other subjects that you have. Yun lang po. Kung matatapos nyo yan by uh, May 23, I can right away create your grade, compute your grade there, and you already have your uh, grade for your fourth quarter. Now, it is also mentioned that maybe we will be using another uh, one, another computation. Uh, yung rec re recording computation based on the DepEd how they used it, no? Also, yung ginamit ng public school na tinanggal nila yung fourth quarter exam. So, in that case, uh, yun na nga po, ganun po yung mangyayari. So, 
um, tawag nito. Gusto ko sana ng matapos nyo po yung yung mga ko no, yung mga yung mga activities ko sa sa Kuiper. Um that's the reason why I encourage your classmates, no, uh, every day in your GC you get to just uh remind them that if they are online, then why not pass if they are online in the social media, then why not pass by Kuiper? Um I think Kuiper is not that hard for it sa internet kasi hindi naman siya yung parehas ng YouTube na grabe kung mag-take ng data. Uh, I think hin- mura lang yung data ng kan eh nang hindi siya ganun ka katakaw mag-data yung Kuiper. So I'm encouraging you to please yun lang po kasi we'll still be deliberating and we'll get to see no kung paano ba yung diskarte because of this one now. I know that's really hard. In it's also hard for us the teachers no to to do this one because nobody liked what happened right now. So that's the reason why we help each other out and let's just do our role. All right, so we continue now no with uh the lesson that we have we have for today. What we have is uh another lesson no. So we already done the first part which is mitosis. But this time, what we have right now is still cell division. But this time, do not be. Uh, wag kayong magkamali sa kwan no, sa sa etong bagong lesson na ito. Kasi yung bagong lesson na ito po is called meiosis. So meiosis. Some others pronounce it meiosis. Either way, pero hindi siya mitosis. So meiosis. I will be cons- consistently uh, pronouncing that one as meiosis all right so m e i o s i s iba din po ito if you can remember no for for the two types of your cell division they have different purpose and in that case um for mitosis it happens to your somatic cell or your body cell however for your meiosis or meiosis no it happens to your germ cell your gametes or simply what you call your sex cell ah uh, ito po yung cell division Wherein for females, this is where they create the egg cell, and for males, this is where we create our sperm cell. All right, iba po yung cell. Ah, uh, tawag nito cell process na nangyayare po pag magcreate tayo ng egg cell at sperm cell. Iba din po yung cell process kung paano tayo magpahaba ng buhok. All right, so in this case, let's continue with your meiosis. So let's go. And try to see the objectives of this lesson. <clears throat> All right. So, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to number one compare myo- mitosis and meiosis and their role in the cell cycle. Determine how their phases contribute to the reproduction of sex cells and tanggalan natin yung mukha ko dito. Explain the role of meiosis in sexual reproduction. All right. So what I'm going to do here, sana hindi ako makapiray nito, but I'm going to show you a video of the one that I'm actually basing. No, since 2016, no, ah, uh, 2017 when I first teach in CCDC about this cycle, no, this this lesson because uh, in their video in YouTube, it is actually really very comprehensive. Yet it's not hard for us to understand. So I will be showing you first the video before we're going to to each slide there. However, let's get to browse first this one. All right. So, you talk about your meiosis. It's a type of division that produces haploid or a single N sex cells or gametes. This allows both parents to contribute genetic material to the offspring. All right. So, I hope gum. All right. So gumagana, right? So this time, no. Let's go first and uh, watch that video of YouTube, no. So, ato muna tayo. This is Amiba Sisters. If you like the English version of this one, um, you can do so. However, I will be explaining this one, no. I will be muting the video and I will be the one explaining that one in our own, kano? In our own. Uh, sa ating sa ating salita. All right, so sana hindi ako makapirate nito. All right, so 
dito sa meiosis na uh, dito kayo magtataka if nagtataka kayo if uh, why is it that you have parents na you have the same parents mother and father pero bakit kayong magkakapatid eh hindi kayo pare-parehas i mean hindi kayo parehas ng itsura when you get to say some, some people describe your siblings and you, no? They say that your 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 elder brother looks more like your father. However, your elder father, uh, your 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 youngest brother looks like your mother. And you are also merong ganito, merong ganito. So sabihin nila, ah, yung mata mo nakuha mo kay father. Yung hair color mo nakuha mo kay mother. Yung hairstyle mo nakulot kay mother mo nakuha yan. Ganon, get this one and that one. In this case, if you get to see here in this image, no? You have a father here and a mother here. No? Na, meron silang mga katangian. Alright? Father and mother here. However, no? During reproduction, you get to see that here is a boy that has the hairstyle of the mother and here is a girl or girl ba ito? or boy pa rin. However, it has the hairstyle of the father. More or less, kasi genetically link din yung pagiging kalbo, itong batang ito, baka kakalbuhin din in the future. So, parang ganun. No? The point is that, when you get to, get to see this one, no? this is now related to your meiosis. Magkakaiba po kayong mga kakapatid, pero the same kayo ng parents. So, ano pong nangyari dyan? Meron ba pong nagbago this is what we're going to continue this time so ito tinatawag nating meiosis so hindi po sila parehas ng mitosis when you talk about mitosis yung mitosis po ang ginagawa po diyan is gumagawa ng identical cell so, pag skin cell po, nagre-reproduce po siya ng skin cell. Pag uh, stomach cell po, kailangan po niyang gumawa ng stomach cell. Usually, at the end of uh, the process of mitosis, no, mitosis, dalawang identical cell po ang nagkakaroon from the parent cell. But in this case, for meiosis, iba po. Let's continue. Alright, so it's, it's for growth and repair for damage no? when you talk about mitosis. So, ano naman ang gamit ng meiosis? Alright, so when you talk about your, your meiosis, no? it talks about, uh, it contributes to what you call your um, genetic variety. When you talk about genetic variety, yung pagiging unique po ng every individual. In our case for human po, Tayo po, unique po tayo, wala po tayong kaparehas. Kahit po yung kambal, no? Kahit po yung kambal, wala po siyang kaparehas. All right? So ganun po yung nangyayari, no? Wala po silang kaparehas kasi ano ba yung mga trademark or ano ba yung mga evidence na hindi po tayo magkakaparehas? First is our, our, our thumb mark, no? Yung, yung, yung design dyan, yung pattern dyan is not the same and thus you don't, you don't have magkaparehas po na mark. And this is actually related to what you call your meiosis because it makes variety of genetic, uh, mga ganun, no? genetic uh, stuff. In that case kasi po, bakit po kailangan ng variety? Alright. The more different your gene is, from the gene of other person, tapos nagre-reproduce kayo, mas better po yung survival or yung, yung buhay ng batang yun kasi it makes a hybrid of two different uh, genetic materials from the mother and the father na pag nag-join, no? yung, yung, yung batang yun na na-reproduce is actually a hybrid of the mother and the father. Kung meron mang kahinaan si father, baka meron pong gene doon si mother na tatapalan niya yung kahinaan ni father. Or the other way around. Kaya po, kailangan po natin ng variety of genes. 
no? When you talk about reproduction. Kaya po yung sinasabi natin, hindi po uh, pwede pero hindi po advisable na mag-intermarry or magpakasal or magkaanak yun pong magkapatid, mag-first cousin and a second degree cousin. Kasi po, yung genetic materials nyo, because you are related and closely related, which makes your gene so familiar or not so different or not so unique or not so various or not so, hindi po ganun ka-variety to the point that magkakaproblema po later on yung lalabas na anak. Kaya po, gin, ang, ang, ang habol po natin for, for marriage, for 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 reproduction or no for the continuation of the human race is for us na magkaroon po ng various or variety of genes kaya po hindi po pwede ang magka mag-anak ito po yung reason kaya po meron po tayong tinatawag na meiosis all right let's continue Alright, so it just tells you here that your meiosis is actually creating your sperm cell and your egg cell. Now, when you talk about your your chromosomes, no, your chromosomes, kung ilan yung chromosomes po sa isang uh, sa isang cell, sa isang body cell or somatic cell, meron po siyang 46 po na chromosome. 46. So sa isang cell, meron pong 46 na chromosome. Alright, so Think of it that in one cell you have 46 of this one, right? So let's continue because I will be explaining this one. <laughs> Alright, so sabi nga dito, no, you have here your, your 46 chromosomes in one cell. However, we have exceptions for this one. It's because no, your sperm cell and your egg cell is just half the number of the chromosomes that is found in your body cell because your your <coughs> your your sperm cell and your egg cell are not body cells they are sex cells they are just half of the number of the body cell all right in this case po kasi no bakit half lang po is that no later on makikita natin yung process ng uh ng mitosis we're in no Bakit kailangan 23 lang yung sperm, you can lang yung yung egg din 23. All right. When you talk about this stuff no here. Ang ibig lang pong sabihin dito is that during the union of your uh, sperm cell and your egg cell, no? Union, nag-fertilize. Pag i-add mo siya yung 23 na, na sperm uh, 23 na chromosomes sa sperm and 23 na chromosomes sa egg, pag nag-unite sila at nag-fertilize, ilan po yun? So you have 23 plus 23, it will give you 46, which is actually a body cell, number of the chromosomes of the body cell. Because later on, during no fertilization of the sperm cell and the egg cell, ano pong makikreate yun? No? So, magkikreate po ng baby. And around 90 to 95% of a baby is actually made up of body cells. So, from those sperm cell and egg cell, 23 na chromosomes galing kay father through the sperm cell and 23 uh, chromosomes galing kay mother from the egg cell combined together, 23 plus 23, that, those two cells will become and create body cells that later on develop uh, developing baby inside the womb of the mother. So, yung, yung creation na nila yon magiging one na yon. tapos doon na mga, mga ibang mga body cells. So, 46, 23, 23, 46, Doon, mag, na, mag-specialize na yung mga cell na yun. Meron ng maging hair cell, skin cell, bone cell, brain cell, stomach cells, and different cells of the body that later on will develop and become a human being. Kaya po, very amazing po yung Panginoon natin. Because, no, he's able to think of this so intelligently na hindi pwedeng 46 and 46 yung sperm. Kasi maging 80, 46 times, 46 plus 46 will give you 92 Eh, abnormal po, hindi na po tao yun. Kasi sa tao po, a perfect person na walang defect sa chromosome niya has only 46 chromosome. 
except for only the cells of your sperm cell and your egg cell. Kasi mag unite yan later on through fertilization. 23 plus 23 will give you 46. I hope that you get to understand it here. Let's get to delve more about this one. Alright, let's continue. All right, so this is the explanation that I'm telling you earlier about, uh, all right, it makes 46, no? All right, so yun. So your, 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 no? your, your, the type of your, your, all right, before the start, uh, before the start, your uh, what do you call this one? No, your your uh, what do you call this one? Your your meiosis is different from your mitosis in this process because we talk about when you talk about your meiosis, it has actually it's actually what you call your reduction division. Meaning when you talk about reduction, nagre reduce reduce po ang until liliit from a parent cell which has forty six. No, magdi divide po yan in the first division ng 23 to 23 pero dadalawa lang po yung daughter cell however in the end po magdi-divide ulit itong dalawa magiging apat 23 23 pero apat na po yung mga daughter cell na from one daughter cell 46 later on the final number of the daughter cell uh, from one parent cell no the final number later on will be four daughter cells so keep in mind when you talk about the mitosis, the end product is two. Huh? When you talk about your mitosis is actually the end product would be two identical cells. However, no, for your meiosis, no, the end product would be four. However, different cells po sila, hindi po identical cells. I will explain this one later on as we continue with this video all right all right so before we're going to go to the stage you get to see that in your stage of your i your your uh, uh tawag nito no in your stage of your mitosis it has only four you have your p mat but you get to see previously here it has many stages here so hindi lang ba Pimat lang ba o hindi ba pimat? Hindi lang ba pimat yung meiosis? Let's continue first. Alright, so we talk about this meiosis. It has all still your interface that is happening, no? We're in, it checks about your growth, uh, uh, talks about, uh, checks about the DNA replication and the normal cell function. Alright, so before your meiosis, meron din po tinatawag na tayong interface because it's the preparation. So originally we have 46 chromosomes here. Right? So 46. So nandito na po yung chromosome. This is the hard part, no? Because there it is where now we're counting. Uh, sorry. All right. Punta muna tayo dito. All right. Alright, when you talk about your chromosome, normal po na chromosome ng tao is 46, right? 46. In this case, if you're going to count this one, no? So, ito po lahat 46 po ito, no? Now, the basis of counting the chromosome is actually based on the centromeres po. Yung andito po, sinasabi na centromere. Ano po yung centromere? Ito po yung parang circle na nag naghahawak po dito sa gitna. Alright? So, you have here 46 chromosomes. Alright? 46 ito lahat na chromosomes. Because you have 46 centromeres. 1, 2, 3. So, ikakount mo yan lahat 46. However, be mindful of the number of chromatids. Since nakita natin na parang, uy, sir, sabi nyo, parang mukhang half ito eh. When, when tama kayo, correct, no? Half yan. That's actually also the number of chromatids. So, this is one chromatid, two, three, four. So, lahat po yan, 46 po na chromosome in the end. So, just visit, think of it na, 
ang basihan po natin centro mirrors. Alright? Let's continue. So, nangyayari po dito, sabi ko nga, di ba, during your S phase, it needs to duplicate its number. So, makita natin, uy, sir, magmukha na siyang X dito. Pero ang tanong ba dito, sir, ilan pong chromosome pa rin yung andito? Ilan ba? It's actually still 46. Bakit? Again, ibabase po natin siya sa number of centromeres. 1, 2, 3, ito pong parang red po na circle sa gitna. No? 46 pa rin yan. So, still considered as 46 chromosome. But be mindful of the number of chromatids. Since 46 times 2, no? kasi diba yung first na picture natin, half lang. Pero 46 pa rin na chromosome. Ngayon, parang nagkadubli sila kasi nga meron tayong tinatawag na duplication or the DNA duplication. Naging 46 pa rin, pero yung chromatids natin naging 92. So, this is one chromatid, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Seven, eight, hanggang punta kayo sa dulo, it's now 92. But then again, it's still 46 chromosome. So the previous one, na half, parang mukha siyang half, just count the number of centromeres, it's still 46. Now, this time, nag-duplicate na po siya, it's still 46. Right? I hope hindi po siya magulo, pero yun yung point po. Think of the centromeres. It says here, centromere are part of the chromosome where... Uh, Sister chromatids are held together. Ito lang po yung isipin natin. Ito pa lang yung counting natin. Alright? Let's continue. Alright, so we're, we're, we're continue to count. This is what, no, your 46 chromosome with 46 chromatid. Now, pag nag-duplicate, you have now what you call your 46 chromosomes still but 92 chromatids this time. Alright? We'll continue. Alright, so... Your mitosis, it mentions about your PMAT, your your prophase, your metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. However, is that, no, you don't still uh, need to not forget them. Is because here, no, PMAT din po yung ginagamit natin for your, uh, your meiosis. However, what's the catch here for your meiosis, no? Your, your PMAT is being done twice. Dalawang beses po gagawin yung PMAT. So you have your parents, no? parent, uh, parent cell here, which is originally 46 chromosome with 92 chromatids. So ito po yung first process. Ito pong magka-level uh, na, na mga cell dito. ano? So I hope hindi nagsagabal yung mukha ko. Alright. So magka-level po na, na cell dyan. Ito po yung first division. Alright. Tapos after, no? After ng first division, gug, pupunta naman po siya ng second division. Now, this two, uh, this one here will divide into two. This one here will divide into two. Therefore, at the end, we have three, I have three, four chromosomes all in all. with two, Each with 23 chromosomes with 23 also chromatids. Alright, ano bang nangyayari dito? Alright, let's continue some more. Ito na yung sinasabi nating reduction division kasi nagre-reduce po siya. So, as I've mentioned here, in your mitosis, no, we have your 46 chromosome from the parent cell. Now, later on, pag manganganak ng daughter cell po, 46, 46 din po each cell. However, for your meiosis, 46 po yung parent cell. The first division is that it creates into two different cells. This, uh, two cells, no? With 23 chromosomes. However, it's just the first one. It goes another one here sa, sa second one, which is sa second division this time from those two here. No? Si, is, number one, gagawa ng dawa, dalawa. Si number two, gagawin ng dalawa. So therefore, in the end, no? gagawa po siya ng apat. Again, your PMAT will happen twice. Alright, that's the reason why for your meiosis, we put numbers for your PMAT. 
no? In this case po, ang tinat or in this case na yung tayong example dito sinasabi talo phase two. So during the first division, no, ang tawag natin po doon P mat 1. So, meron po tayong tinatawag na pro phase 1. Meron po tayong tinatawag na Alright. Meron po tayong tinatawag na pro phase 2. Alright. Meron pro uh, anaphase, um, pro phase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1. Meaning, pag 1 po yun, nangyayari po doon during the first division. Now, if it goes to the second division, this time, meron po tayong tinatawag na prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. But to be honest with you, no, para hindi natin masyadong habain ito, what's happening in the PMAT during the mitosis is almost the same po na nangyayari sa meiosis. It's just that in the meiosis, it happens twice. Alright? Twice po siyang nangyayari. But let's go, no? Um, tingnan natin kung anong mga konting details na magpapa-differ sa kanila. Let's continue with this video. So, let's dive right in. So let's start with the very first step. Prophase 1. One thing I like to remember about prophase is pro, this actually means before. Alright, so prophase 1, before, because of the word pro. All right. This is where the chromosomes are going to condense and thicken. They are actually going to line All right, up. Right, so they will line up in the the middle no. You have your when You talk about your homologous chromosomes na. Because you have 46 chromosome, your chromosome needs to pair. Kailangan nilang magparis-paris. So in that case no, pag nagpaparis-paris po yung chromosome, syempre hahanap sila ng partner nila from those 46 ones. Because no, Yung chromosome po natin sa isang cell po natin is hindi pare-parehas po yung itsura. Hindi po pare-parehas yung haba, hindi po pare-parehas yung size. So, parehas po rin sa sayawan, no? When you, when you, when you, when you go on ballet or ballet ba? A ballroom, you find the partner that actually fits you. I mean, the point is that parehas kayo ng height, parehas kayo ng kalakihan. The same with your chromosome. In the 46 chromosome, if you'd like to pair them, ilang pares po yun. So, uh, 46 divided by 2, you have 23 pairs of chromosome. Now, those chromosome needs to to partner with something that they are the same. No? Pag maliit siya, yung partner niya maliit din. Pag malaki siya, yung partner niya malaki din. And that is what you call your homologous chromosome. When you talk about the word homo, it means the same. So, they're looking now no, to find their partners according to their size, uh, their shape, or whatever that is. So, homologous chromosomes. Alright, even that containing the same types of genes, no, na pwede nilang pag-sharean mamaya. Alright, what's, what's so amazing with your PMAT1, at PMAT, your prophase 1, is a process called crossing over. And then again, yung, yung, yung pair nyo, na homologous pair nyo ngayon, na nakahanap na ng partner, and parehas po sila ng size, and almost the same genetic material. It only shows here, no? Na makikita natin that this is actually the, the chromosome that come from came from your father and the chromosome that came from your mother. Meron po tayong tinatawag na crossing over. When you talk about crossing over, parehas din sa basketball na sumasayaw kayo ng cross over kayo. Kahit ng ibang mga classmate nyo, kahit walang bola na cross over sa harapan nyo. No? <laughs> eh, ganito din po yung crossing over. In that case po, no? Meron pong mga genetic materials na nanggaling kay father. Let's consider the green one as the uh, the, uh, the chromosome of the father and the blue one's the chromosome of the mother. Na meron po tayong tinatawag na crossing over yung gene materials po ni father. Some hindi po lahat, konti lang po doon eh pwede pong magpalitan yung 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 chromosome ni mother and the father. Tawag po natin diyan crossing over. Yung pagpalitan po ng gene during your prophase 1. Here it says here your prophase 1. Right? I'll, I'll tell you what I mean. Like something very different, but this is actually really awesome process because this is when the chromosomes they're lined up in homologous pairs and they have this. All right, you get to see now the effect or the the, the result of your chromosome. We're in some genetic materials of your mother went to your father's chromosome, and the genetic material coming from your 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 mother went also to your father's chromosome. Ito na po yung tinatawing nating crossing over. And this is actually the result of why is it that you, you have the same parents pero hindi po kayo magkakamukha or meron kayong mga unique features 
ng kapatid nyo is because you have different crossovers during this process of meiosis. Alright? So, meron kang gene na nakuha nyo. Let's say, for example, if ito yung gene na nakuha, uh, lumabas ang bata, lalaki. Ito yung gene na nakuha ni, 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 ni baby, baby boy number one. Nakuha niya yung eye color ni mother. Pero, nakuha din niya yung pagiging kulot ni mother. So, iba usually, pag sabi nila, pag lalaki, dapat kamukha ni father. Pag babae, kamukha ni mother. Pero it's not always the case. It's because of what you call a very amazing process called crossing over. Ito po actually yung punto na sinasabi natin na kailangan natin ng genetic variety. And, ito po yung iniiwasan natin na makipagkasal o makipag-intermarry po sa mga closely relatives natin kasi po, pag halos parehas po yung genes, wala pong useless po yung crossing over. Kaya po, naghahanap tayo ng mapapangasawa natin na hindi po natin relative. Kasi mas maganda yung crossing over, lesser na problema po doon sa batang, uh, batang mabubuo. Alright? Let's continue some more. Genetic information and exchange it between All right, so it's just a transfer of the genetic materials from the mother to the father. All right, so makikita natin dito. So may tawag natin recombinant chromosome. Yung resulta ng crossing over po na meron na pong nag-transfer na genetic material is actually a recombinant from the word combi combine, no? Combine chromosome po na yun. So, from your father and your mother, you are now a recombinant or combined or simply what you call a hybrid of your mother and your father. Sabi ko nga during the first uh, men I mentioned, baka meron po tayong mga weak na genes na kay father na nag-crossover po yung strong gene ni mother na natabunan po yung kay father which makes that hybrid child now better version than the parent version. It's because you are more hybrid. No? So, kaya nga kailangan natin ang magkaiba at hindi related na human being na mag-intermarry kesa po doon sa magka-mag-anak. Kaya po sinasabi nila, pag meron pong mga, ah, dito po sa Cordillera sa atin po, pag meron po tayong mga reunion po, family grand reunion, pumunta po kayo. Kasi baka ma-realize nyo later on na yung mga jowa nyo ngayon, pinsan nyo pala. Ano? So, those uh, grand reunions that you have for your for your family, don't miss them out because it's a way for you to be able to trace your family tree and to see who whom are you related with. Alright? And maiwasan po natin yung mga problema kasi then again, meron pong nangyayari sa mabubuong child if the, the children is actually closely related. Let's continue. Even when they have the same parents. <clears throat> More about that later. Now we move into so we have your metaphase. Simply, when you talk about metaphase, it talks about your M for middle. They line up in your metaphysical plate. Sa gitna, yon. <clears throat> so, nakapair po sila dito. Nakikita natin, no? Nakapair po sila dito. Still remember your 46 chromosomes with 92 chromatids. So, maglilinya po sila ng two pile dito sa gitna. And meron po tayong spindle fiber dito. Ay, ito po yung fiber na naka-attach po doon sa centromere. And ito po yung, um, I think this is uh, your centriole, no? That later on, it goes to this area here because ito, magsishorten tong fibers, hihilain nila yan, magkakahiwalay. So, let's say for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, let's say for example, you have your 46 dapat ditong nakaline and nakapair po sila, di ba, homologous pair. So, meron po tayong 23 dito na nagka-pair. Meron po sila dito. So, later on, expect rin po natin, no, na meron pong 23 na sasama dito, meron pong 23 na sasama po doon sa right side. That's the reason why actually later on sa matatapos at the first uh, division of your uh, meiosis. Alright, so middle, tapos the same your anaphase. This time, it talks about your away, meaning lalayo na po sila. Kaya nga sinabi ko sumama na, ayun, nagkakasama na pumunta na sa end uh, poles. Tapos telophase, Dalawa pong nuclei nang nabuo. So, andito na po, no, 
ito na po yung first division, magkakahiwalay na po ito. So, makita po natin dito, ito pong first na cell dito, meron po tayong 23 chromosomes, pero meron po din po tayo dito, 23 na, uh, 23 na chromosome, but 46 chromatids. is because, no, buo pa sila. Tingnan natin po ang difference ng M1 sa M2 later on. Alright? Be mindful. Alright, let's go now to the second division. Kaya, yung isa po na father, father, the parent cell, no, nag-divide, naging dalawa na po. Ito na po yung, uh, yung resulta ng first division. Let's go now to the next one. And meiosis one with two new cells. Alright, so ito na yung sinasabi ko After first division, after you have your 23 chromos Alright, let's go to yung Imoiosis 2 Parehas din po, wala pong masyadong nangyayari sa Prophase 2 oh, sabi, uh, sabi nga dito, ipapano rin sa English Not so ad the same ad uh, eventful Alright, so wala na pong crossing over dito Kasi natapos na po yung crossing over Alright, so the same pa rin, no? Nagkakaroon na po ng spindle kasi later on po, punta tayo sa M2 mamaya. Maglilinya na po sila ulit sa middle. Kaya tingnan po natin, no? Di ba una, sa metaphase 1, nagkakapares po yung nandito. Pero in the metaphase 2, it shows you down here that it is just a single file of chromosomes na. Then again, 23 po dito, 23 din po yung andito. No? However, be mindful that in your 20, uh, just imagine that there are 23 here because hindi naman may, hindi naman kakasya ito pag, kwan, no? pag ilalagay natin yung 23 sa buong drawing. Just be mindful that this is 23 chromosomes here, 23, however, in a single file. Now, if you're going to count the chromatids, buo pa po na nagmumukhang X ito. So, your chromatids is still, kung 23 ito, meron po tayong 46 chromatids and 46 chromatids with 23 chromosome on the other one. Let's continue and get to see now uh, when we reach now your your kwan your your anaphase no sa anaphase again the same away oh okay, hinihila na po pero tingnan na po natin dito oh chrome yung naghiwalay na po yung mga chromatids yung sister chromatids nagkahiwalay na po kaya yung pupunta dito no ilan yung chromosome it's still 23 but the chromatids now is also 23 it goes now here to the other side. No? Meron po tayong 23 chromosomes din dito, but the chromatids this time is 23 as opposed to the original one, which is 46. So, itong si, si first cell dito, magdi-divide into 2. Itong si second cell dito, magdi-divide into 2. Kaya later on po, ilan po yung uh, uh, resulta po ng cell na nangyayari po, uh, uh, nabubuo po at the end of your meiosis. Ayan, nandito na po, nagsistart na po sa telophase, 2 nuclei. So, nabubuo na po. Ngayon, makikita natin yung difference ng first division and second division. Just get to watch and post this one if you get to watch this video and analyze po. So, sa, me sa male po, gumagawa po ng sperm cell. Sa female po, gumagawa po ng egg cell. Alright, let's continue. Alright, so, let's say for example, sir, sabi nyo, sabi nyo, pag nagdi-divide po yung sperm cell, let's say for example, and mangyayari po, sa isang sperm, uh, isa, sa origin, so from the original one, it creates a form sperm cell. So, ano ba po, ano ba nangyayari po dyan? Uh, is it that apat din po yung anak? Hindi po. Hindi po. Kasi po, ang nangyayari po dito, let's say for example, let's think of this four sperm cell, which are actually, different then again sabi ko nga four different cells po either egg cell or sperm cell po ang uh, effect po or resulta po ng meiosis so let's say for example kasi sa crossing over magkakaiba po yung mga karakteristik ng sperm cell ito merong ganitong buhok ito nakamohok ito kulot ito kalbo pero may shades so during the um, nagmeet na si mother si mother and si father no tapos nagmeet na 
isa sa mga cell characteristic dyan ang posibleng makapag-fertilize ng egg. Pwedeng itong si number 1, si number 2, si number 3, number 4. Either way, kung sino man dyan, yung mga karakteristik ng sperm cell po ay hindi parehas. So, sino po yung uh, successful na makapag-fertilize sa egg, eh siya po yung yun po yung karakteristik ng bata later on. The same goes to the uh, egg cell of a female. Alright? However, meron ng konting difference. Kasi sa lalaki po, yung apat na cell po doon, buhay po yun. So, paunahan na lang kung sino po yung kwan, yung uh, chance. Pero, no, in one, uh, during the process of copulation, kasi uh, males release how many millions of sperm cell? However, only one sperm cell is able to reach the egg of a female and fertilize that egg. Alright? Let's continue with this one. So, ito po yung sinasabi ko. Oh, hindi po sila makakaparehas. So, sino na lang po ang... Ito na yung tinatawag natin na variety. Kaya po, minsan, hindi po makakaparehas talaga yung, yung, yung magkakapatid. Alright. It, uh, nag-miss po silang nag-explain dito po. Ang nangyayari po dito naman sa babae. Alright. Punta tayo dito. Alright. Sa babae po, ang nangyayari po dito sa babae, we have 40, the original cell which is 46. Tapos in the first division, we have two cells with 23 chromosomes. Tapos, in the second division, itong dalawang ito, mga anak ng dalawa dito, mga anak ng dalawa dito, then you have now 23 chromosomes each but 4 different cell. But for females, no, every month po sa babae po, they only produce one mature egg cell. So, ang difference po ng babae sa lalaki is that, sa lalaki, itong apat na ito, healthy po yan lahat. Pero sa babae po, no, Sa apat na ma, uh, resulta ng meiosis in the end, only one there is a matured egg cell. Let's say for example, si egg cell number one lang po dito. Ano po yung tawag natin sa tatlong cell na nangyari doon? Ang tawag po natin doon, polar bodies. Those polar bodies later on will supply the nourishment of that matured egg cell kung sakaling na-fertilize po sila. Kaya ang babae po, every month, eh gumagawa kayo ng isang matured egg cell. And in that case, kung wala pong nag-meet dyan, that's the reason why you have your period every month or every 28 days. is because pag yung matured egg cell na na-create na, 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 na yon ay hindi nakapag-fertilize with a sperm cell, then it will be disintegrated with the polar bodies and will flow out as blood. That's the, now your menstruation. So every month, the cycle goes back and back. Gagawa naman ulit ng matured egg cell. Pero yun po, during meiosis, because it's related to your meiosis, no? sa apat po na cell doon, sa babae, isa lang po yung matured, the rest are polar bodies. Specifically, there are three polar bodies and one matured egg cell. Now, this is really very important. is because for sa mga advanced... sa mga advanced na mga study in genetics, no? Um, not all genes are really actually really very, very healthy. To the point that in these genes that we have, no? There is what you call gene splicing or genetic engineering that you can engineer those cells and take out the bad gene and only leave the good genes. So, lo, later on, makikita natin uh, mga, mga batang, mga batang guapo, malakas yung, malak, guapo or maganda, uh, ma matitipuno yung katawan, hindi masyadong natatamaan agad ng, ng sakit, those ones, no? because of what you call the advancement of uh, science right now, which is genetic engineering. But sometimes, no, you encounter what you call mga problems during uh, the metaphase specifically or here in meiosis. Ano bang nangyayari pag hindi din, one, hindi din successful? Kasi minsan hindi po perfect yung katawan natin. There is what you call your non-disjunction. When, during the first division, let's say for example, imbis na mag-divide in equal numbers na pumunta dito, dal, dapat dito, di ba? Ito, you have your two chromosomes, however, you have your four chromatids. 
Now, during the first division, ni, yung isa na dapat pumunta dito, sumama sa kabila. So, dito na sobrahan, ito naman na kulangan. Ngayon, abnormal po yung cell na iyan. Ano pong mangyayari? Pag yan po, yung nakapag-fertilize ng, ng either egg or sperm, at ito po yung nabuo na kulangan or na sobrahan. Alright? So, I will, I will explain that one later on and give you different what you call mga chromosomal or genetic disorders. So, ito po yung sinasabi na nilang mga ganito. Ano? So, I hope that you get to understand no, the, the, my explanation about this one. This is actually more or less a video review of what is happening here no, in, this, uh, in this video. However, this is just 7 plus minutes if you get to watch the Amoeba Sisters. So, credits po to the Amoeba Sisters. I hope that you're not going to take me out for this uh, copyright, but I'm using this one as an, a material uh, during this uh the, during this pandemic crisis that we're having right now and it's so hard for us to be able to explain this one and thank you for this uh, very comprehensive yet uh, easy to understand lesson that you have so credits to the amoeba sisters for this one so ito na po yung nangyayari dito no so this is actually the summary of everything uh, i'm not sure if how many minutes na po ako I hope that I'm still live. Yeah, I'm still live. Um, let's now go back to your uh, ano? your PowerPoint presentation of your meiosis. So, na-explain ko na po lahat doon, pero daanan na lang po natin yung iba, no? Para makita natin. So, Kaya nga po, tinatawag natin sa meiosis, no? Originally po, 46 po yung chromosome ng original cell. How, that is what you call your diploid. Pero kasi dito sa meiosis, 23 na lang po yung maiiwan doon po sa end po na result. That is na what you call your haploid. Half lang kasi ng, 20, uh, ng 46, which is 23. And this only happens your sex cells, your, your sperm, and your egg cells. Alright, so ito po yung tinatawag natin na dalawang process. You have your meiosis 1, the first division, and your meiosis 2, your, your, your second division. So they say that the first one is reductional, the, the second one is your equational. Let's continue. So we have what you call your synapsis is a unique event in meiosis 1 that involves close association between a homologous pairs. When you talk about your homologous pair, sabi ko nga, ito po yung magkakakwa, no? Mahahanapan nila ng partner nila. Tapos during that partnering, uh, meron po tayong tinatawag natin na, na crossing over. Alright? And nakikita natin ito. This is now your recombinant or your hybrid or com combined resulted result from the, what you call this one, resulta ng crossing over. Now, what I uh, I mentioned uh, earlier about your uh, your homologous pairs is that ito po lahat ng mga chromosome po natin is actually uh, what you call this one, 46 po. Na? Sa 46 po na yun, kailangan nilang mag-pair into to, uh, tinatawag natin na homologous pair. So, sabi ko nga, hindi sila magkakaparehas. No? Meron po silang ibang sizes po, kaya po kailangan nilang hanapin yung partner. This is now what you call your 23 homologous pairs. However, just to give you an idea, sa 23 po na pairs na yun, the 1 to 22 po, ito po yung tinatawag natin na autosomes. Or what you call your body chromosomes. However, in the last pair po, kasi sabi ko nga 23, yung pang 23rd po, ang tawag po natin dyan, sex chromosome. Ito po yung nagdetermine later on kung yung chance na ano, lalabas lalaki or babae is because depende kung anong sex chromosome yung last na nag-combine. Now, no? ito yung pang 23, andito, alright? Uh, ito po, body chromosomes, no? So, Sex chromos uh, body chromosome or autosome. Now, your last pair, the 23rd pair, is your sex chromosome. Alright. When you talk about your sex chromosome po, this is just one thing that you, you need to ano, you need to think about. When you talk about your females po, so babae, yung sex chromosome po ng babae, XX. Alright? XX po. Sa lalaki po, yung sex chromosome po ng lalaki, XY. Now, that's the reason why there are some disorders na nangyayari po na kawawang-kawawa po si lalaki 
kesa si babae kasi usually for chromosomal disorders lalaki po yung laging natatamaan nito. Alright? I may uh, give you a hint about that one. No? Kasi si babae kasi merong XX na chromosome. Pag problemado yung isang X, yung isang X po, okay pa. Kaya nga XX sila. Pag sa lalaki, importante kasi dito yung, yung X chromosome. XY po yung si lalaki. Alright? So, X tapos Y. So, XY. Pag itong X na po ito, sira. Wala ng X tang X chromosome si lalaki para ayusin niya yung sira. <coughs> The point is that, sa babae kasi, pag may, may sira sa isa kasi XX sila parehas, no? XX sila parehas. Pag ito, may problema, may isa pang X sa lalaki, XY. Pag ito problemado, si Y hindi na po kayang tabunin yung trabaho ni X. Yun lang po yung point niyan. Alright, so we have your mitosis one. I will not explain this one anymore. I mentioned I mentioned too much about your crossing over. We talk about uh, your crossing over or your genetic recombination is another term for that one. It's just simply during this uh, process we're in no combination, uh, combo or combining of those uh, some uh, genetic materials from the homologous pairs are actually happening. So ito po yung nangyayari dyan, no? You have your word tetrad. When you talk about your tetrad, it means four. Ito yung po yung actually yung yung apat na apat na mga paajan na pwedeng pagkano pagkombine nung mga uh, genetic materials po natin. So I will not explain this one so much. Ito yung prophase one, uh, metaphase. Sabi ko nga dalawang file, dalawang file, dalawang file ng two files, no? Tapos anaphase away, tapos your telophase two, tapos punta naman sila sa second one. No? So, basahin nyo na lang po ito. Tapos sa second one, yun din po yung mangyari, yung PMAT. So, let's try, try to see eh, the difference between the two. No? When you talk about your mitosis and meiosis, meron po silang different, uh, differences. The number of daughter cells and the cytokinesis involved. When you talk about the number of daughter cells for mitosis, dalawa po yung daughter cells ng end process. Si meiosis po, pag nag-end yung process na, apat po na daughter cell. In terms of the daughter cells po, no? Itong dalawa dito sa mitosis, parehas po. So, skin cell will create another skin cell. Hair cell will create another hair cell. Dapat lang po ganun. Hindi po pwedeng yung skin cell mag-create po ng muscle cell. Hindi po. However, for your meiosis, it creates a four daughter cells in the end with those four being different because of the crossing over. Ito, ito yung merong mohok na buhok. Ito yung kalbo. Ito yung guapo, Ito yung matangkad. So, ito po yung nagkukos po ng variety no na sinasabi natin para mas humaba po yung 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 human race po natin all right also it talks about here about ah uh, hindi ko pala napakita yung yung ano so doon po sa sa mitosis dalawa po yung anak apat po na anak yung sa uh, apat po yung resulta no so yun lang po yung sinasabi ko sa sa Mitosis, meiosis. In terms of the number of chromosomes, sabi ko nga, dalawa dito sa mitosis, apat sa meiosis. Sa dalawa dito, ito, 46, ito, 46 din po. Alright? Yung resulta. Si parent cell kay mitosis, 46. Yung daughter cell niya, dalawa, 46 pa rin. However, from the parent cell, no, na 46 originally kay meiosis, at the end, meron tayong apat na mga cells doon na tigti 23 lang po, hindi na po 46. Ito po yung uh, chromosome number of the daughter cells. The types of cell involved, for your meios mitosis, somatic cell or body cell. For your meiosis, sex cells, either your sperm or your egg cell. Tapos, yung mga unique na events, one time lang po ang division ng mitosis, two times po yung division ng meiosis. Alright? So tingnan natin ang uh, a more kwan picture of this one no. So andito po yung sinasabi. So dito po four stages yung PMAT, dito po eight stages kasi PMAT 1 and PMAT 2, walo po yung lahat. Happens in somatic cell, happens in germ cell symbiosis. So purpose of cell cell uh cell proliferation no meaning uh pagpapadami, pagpapalaki Uh, when you were baby, ito lang yung number of cell mo. Pag lumalaki ka na, nag na, meaning dumami. Alright? Purpose is for your sexual reproduction. So, ito na po yung nagkakos ng uh, mga different uniqueness ng mga chances of babies, uh, your no, offsprings later on. Produces diploid daughter cells. Diploid po meaning 46 po doon sa isang isang daughter cell, 46 po doon sa isang daughter cell. 
Dito po sa meiosis, produces 4 haploid cells. So, apat na yon 23, 23, 23, 23. Ito dapat, di ba, kay, kay mitosis, dapat dalawa lang. Pero kasi nag-divide ulit, naging apat na nag-divide. So, imbes na diploid, haploid na lang. So, 23, 23, 23, 23. Haploid, 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 haploid. Kay mitosis, dalawa, diploid, diploid. 46, 46. Alright, chromosome number the remains, genetic variation does not change. Ito po, variation increase. So actually, this is the end of the lesson no, that we have for this one. So just get to read this one because this will be placed along with your uh, activity later on. So I'll be including this one. No? Identify what uh, is described in each statement below. I'll be placing this one as part of your uh, activity. Now here, what happens if homologous or uh, sister chromatids do not separate correctly? Ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina sa video na non-disjunction. Ano bang epekto nito sa non-disjunction? Alright, so, meron tayong mga tinatawag natin mga genetic or mga chromosomal disorders for this one. Kaya nga po, no, puntaan natin dito. Ito po yung resulta niya. So, try natin hanapin yung answer dito. I will be, and so, once again, no, I think uh, it's already medyo, medyo mahaba na po pala yung, yung stream ko. But this is actually the, con, the, the overall ones no so i hope that everything is clear if you have if you have uh, things that are you don't understand don't hesitate to to message me through facebook and um, for those who have having problems with their uh, accounts i can actually uh, prepare your accounts i can reset passwords i can change your username if you'd like me to to do that one for you to be able to access your your no your 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 Kuiper accounts just uh, PM me or PM your advisor uh, kung yan lang po yung problema kasi hindi kayo nakakapag-connect i-PM nyo po ako para maayos po natin yan because I have I can do I can, rep I can repair that one and I can attend to your problem so without it, uh, further much ado I hope that you still uh, have um, the fire or the enthusiasm to learn because then again no whatever happens in life life does not stop on teaching us so therefore para makahabol po tayo sa tinuturo ng buhay natin kailangan po tayo nating matuto so life does not stop teaching so we also don't stop learning so i hope that you get to enjoy watching this video and the explanation and in that case if there are questions just pm me so ito na po so pandang huli salamat for your time in uh, being with me and once again good morning and god bless you ingat po kayo lagi